A wise person once said, the longer I live, the more beautiful life becomes. In the end, it's not the years in your life that count. It's the life in your years. Learn to count your age by friends, not years. Count your life by smiles, not tears. Growing old is mandatory, but growing up is optional. Keep in your mind that age is something that doesn't matter. Unless you are a cheese. Capture this, it's not how old you are. It's how you are old. Because we are always the same age inside. Getting old is like climbing a mountain. You get a little out of breath, but the view is much better. What matters is how do we live, not how long. Take a look at the best tunes. They are played only on the oldest fiddles. Age, my friend, is nothing but how many years the world has been enjoying you. Laughter is timeless, my friend. Imagination has no age, and dreams are forever. I noticed that getting old is a fascinating thing. Ask me why. Because the older you get, the older you want to get. The ordinary experiences of aging alter and clarify your view of past, present, and future. I respect who said that aging is just another word for living. It is not an option, not for anyone. It is how gracefully we handle the process and how lucky we are as the process handles us. Aging seems to be the only available way to live a long life. By the time you're 80 years old, you've learned everything. You only have to remember it. You don't stop laughing when you grow old. You grow old when you stop laughing. Keep smiling. Keep making people around you smile. Be the reason they're happy. Then you'll feel joy, extreme joy, my friend. Think of it as not how many years have passed, but how much life you've embraced. Aging is not about losing beauty but gaining a deeper appreciation for it. Let me tell you, getting old is not a curse. It is a privilege. It is a privilege denied to many, and we should cherish every moment of it. As we age, we accumulate experiences, learn valuable lessons, and gain a deeper understanding of ourselves and the world around us. Our wrinkles tell stories of laughter and tears, of challenges overcome and dreams pursued. Our gray hairs are badges of resilience, wisdom, and the courage to face life's uncertainties with grace and dignity. Getting old is an opportunity to redefine ourselves, to explore new passions, and to pursue the dreams we may have set aside in our younger years. It is a time to embrace change, to let go of the past, and to focus on what truly matters. But embracing aging does not mean denying the inevitable challenges that come with it. It means facing them with resilience, strength, and a positive attitude. It means seeking support when we need it and offering our support to others in return. It means celebrating our victories, no matter how small, and learning from our mistakes with humility. So how do we get old the perfect way? We do so by embracing each day as a gift, by nurturing our bodies, minds, and spirits, and by surrounding ourselves with love, laughter, and meaningful connections. We do so by staying curious, by continuing to learn and grow, and by never losing sight of our dreams and aspirations, by being grateful to God and paying it further. As we stand here today, let us make a commitment to embrace aging with open arms, to celebrate the beauty of growing old, and to live our lives with purpose, passion, and gratitude. Let us inspire each other to age gracefully, to cherish the memories we create, and to leave a legacy that will endure for generations to come. In closing, I leave you with a quote by the renowned writer George Bernard Shaw. Youth is wasted on the young. Let us prove him wrong by living our lives to the fullest, by embracing the journey of growing old with grace and dignity, and by inspiring others to do the same. Thank you, and may we all age the perfect way.